So I figured that I would come in here really quick and throw an intro in even though I don't normally do this But you won't be seeing me in this video You're gonna be seeing all the streaming apps that I'm gonna be mentioning on my laptop I figured I would do this video a little bit more vlog style instead of always sitting down in the bedroom um, Also, the lighting is very off today. So it's a perfect day for me to just film on the laptop um, so yeah, keep that in mind. You won't be seeing me, but you'll be seeing what you came here for Which is the streaming apps in full detail I also want to say this is the best route to go if you are trying to save money when it comes to streaming apps because there are so many Streaming apps to pay for nowadays that if you were to pay for all of them monthly Your bill will probably be higher than cable So keep that in mind if you're trying to save money and cut back on streaming apps Then the ones that I will be mentioning will be perfect for you. There's something for everybody to watch They even have like kids sections um, I watch the horror and thriller section So I will mention a couple of my faves if you're not into horror and thriller then find what you like <laughs> i know a lot of you guys aren't into like the, the things that i'm into when it comes to like horror and thriller and mystery a lot of you guys are into like comedy and you know other shows and things like that or other movies so don't take it personally that i'm showing my favorites and don't take it like oh well these apps only have horror and thriller it's not for me because they don't they have all the other genres i just go towards the scary route because i'm a horror queen at heart and the last thing that i want to mention is for streaming apps that we pay for we only pay for netflix i do have hulu but it is free because i have spotify so hulu came with spotify years ago for free in my package and i'm kind of like grandfathered in if i cancel my spotify then i lose hulu so i pay ten dollars a month for my spotify and it comes with hulu for free so technically hulu is something you have to pay for but i don't pay for it if that makes any sense um so hulu and netflix are the only two things that we have that are considered like paid subscriptions for streaming apps anyways i hope you enjoyed the video let me know down below what is your favorite streaming app at the moment that's free Okay, so let's talk about Pluto TV first. So Pluto TV has the option for live TV, on demand, or you can just search whatever movie you wanna watch if they have it. It's a fairly easy site to use. And like I was saying in the beginning of this video, this has commercials. So when you are watching live TV, as you guys are seeing, there is commercials. There's not many, I think it's less than a minute of commercials. There's no difference than this and cable, um, besides a giant bill. <laughs> but they have different little genres on the side. If you want to look up just movies that are live right now, you can go to the movie section and see what you would like to watch or see movies that are coming, like, you know, what's next. You can also look up the timeline of, you know, say you have free time at 1.30 p.m. today. You can see what's at what's coming on at 1.30. So very, very similar to cable. They also have reality shows. They have crime, game shows, daytime TV. I don't know what that is. What is daytime TV? Oh, okay, so it's like talk shows. See, I don't really watch the TV section on here because I'm just not into this kind of stuff, but they do have it if you are into it. Um, I mostly go to the on-demand section where you can choose movies that you like. Um, and I normally go towards the horror section and the number one movie that I watch that's on here is Halloween H2O So they do have it on this platform. I think this is the only platform that's Halloween H2O is free All the other platforms you have to pay for that um, That movie um, and they also have the option to watch these movies in English Spanish um, in other languages as well, so I think that's pretty cool. So it's not just for English speaking viewers, it's for everybody. So I think that's pretty awesome and a lot a lot of apps should be doing that. That way everyone can have the experience of having something free instead of paying for streaming apps. Next up is Tubi. Now, when you first go on the Tubi website, you can download these. Like I said, these are apps and websites. So you have the option to watch them on your computer or you can watch them on your phone. My phone's actually on the side over there. 
Um, so you do have a couple options. You know, when you first go on Tubi, this is what you'll see. You can register your own account if you want. I personally don't have account, an account. I just click the Tubi logo and that's it. You can just go right on to the platform without signing in. Now the downside to that is you can't save movies that you would like to see later on. So if you want to save your movies to watch later on so you don't forget them, you have to make an account which only requires an email and a password. That's it. Um, it is easy. I'm just lazy. Like I prefer to just watch something really quick and that's it. But I just want to say that that is an option. And they do have old movies, um, as you guys are seeing, a lot of old horror classics, a lot of old action movies. This movie right here, Deep Blue Sea, I remember when this came out in 1999, I was very little. I was terrified of this movie, so that just brought back a couple memories. But they do have originals, like Tubi originals, just like Netflix does. The only movie that I watched on here is this one, the Stephen King's Riding the Bullet, because I've never seen that movie, and it was all right. And another thing that I watch all the time on Tubi is Lifetime movies, which this one's a Lifetime movie right here. Um, there's a lot, a lot of old Lifetime movies on Tubi. I will say the craziest horror movie that Tubi has right now, if you are into horror and thriller like myself, Penny Dreadful right here. This movie is very, very intense and it is so creepy. So it is old. It came out in 2006, but like I watched this movie twice and I think I'm good. Like I'm not going to watch it again because it is just too creepy for me. And if you are into this kind of genre like I am, then give this one a try if you haven't. Some movies are going to be a little too corny like this one and you, know, you just got to take it as it is. And if you don't like something, it doesn't mean like the entire platform is crap. Just go to something else. It does take time to find something that you normally would watch or that you like. So it's like finding clothes at a thrift store. You got to dig in order to find something decent. And that's the same deal with these streaming platforms. Now I'm trying not to show the up screen because this is Amazon. So I don't want to show my address or anything. But I'm just going to show this part because... Freevee, it is a new platform. It's Amazon's free version of Prime. So as you guys can see right here, it says Amazon Freevee is a premium free streaming service. Watch thousands of hit movies, shows, and Freevee originals and live 24-7 entertainment channels to match and meet your mood. So these are the um, devices that you can watch freebie. Unfortunately, we don't have any of these devices in our house. So I know a lot of you guys do. So that's why I wanted to just mention it really quick. Um, you can download the app on the app store. So I can watch this or use this app through my phone. Um, and I have used it. They do have decent shows and movies. Um, but it is new. It's fairly new. So they're still starting up. And there's not much of a wide selection as the other apps that I just mentioned. But it's free and it's something different. So I'm sure down the road, Amazon will widen their selection with movies and shows with this new streaming app. But if you have any of these little um, devices in your house, then you can download the free V streaming app and it is worth it. You know, it's, it's new, so it's, it's something to keep in mind. Okay, so this is something I also wanted to mention because there's a trick to Peacock. Now, Peacock, you do have to pay for. It's $5 a month, but there is a way around this. So you can sign in, create an account, you know, your email and your password. They don't let you do anything else without signing in but you don't have to pay for you know for everything. So if you go down to here, it says, is Peacock also available for free? You just click down, it says, yes. Limited content on Peacock is available for free. No credit card required. You just need an email address and a password to sign up to access thousands of hours of great entertainment instantly. So with that being said, um, I don't have an account with Peacock. I actually, have my mother's account because she pays for this. So we kind of swapped. I gave her my Hulu account. She gave me her Peacock. 
So I do have this app on our projector and we have been watching a lot of good shows and movies and stuff on here. Um, like they have Bel Air, they have One of Us is Lying, The Resort. The Resort is like Chef's Kiss. One of my favorite shows of all time. If you guys haven't watched The Resort, watch it. It is so freaking good. And it's not a reality show. I know it sounds like a reality show. It's a mystery slash thriller and it's just really good. So I just wanted to mention this that don't be alarmed when you see like, oh, $5 a month. There are free movies and free shows on Peacock. You just have to create an account. That's it. So now I'm on the site Crackle. Now they do have an app. You don't have to be on the site. They have an app you can download. And Crackle is very similar to Pluto. They have a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows. I'm not sure if it's live per se, but it is very similar to Pluto. They do have a wider selection of horror movies, I will say, on Crackle than Pluto does. Um, but they are corny. Um, the other day, my boyfriend and I, <laughs> this is just so silly to mention, um, we ended up watching this movie right here, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. It's a funny horror movie. It's, it's kind of like Shaun of the Dead. It's supposed to be stupid, and it was actually pretty good, even though it was very gory and dumb. It was, it was pretty good. I didn't even want to watch this movie because of how silly it was getting and the acting was just so awkward, but it was supposed to be awkward. It's one of those stupid horror movies and I'm glad I watched it. Um, so don't judge a movie by its cover, you guys, just like we don't judge books by their cover. Try to give, you know, even the bad movies, or the ones that look like bad movies, try to give them a chance because you just never know. They also have a selection for spooky stories, like shows and it just was very different when I seen this because not every platform caters to horror, which I was very shocked to see this. Right here, Something Scary, one of my favorite YouTube channels and podcasts. Um, like I told you guys, I am a, you know, a horror queen, so I do tend to listen to a lot of spooky stories when I am out and about or, you know, when I'm doing grocery shopping. This is what I have playing in my ears. Um, I usually listen to it on Spotify, but if you do not have Spotify or anything like that, you can, you know, listen to it on here, I guess. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you would like me to do a part two of free streaming apps because I'm sure there's plenty more. I just got to do more research. But let me know down below if you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video.